In this problem, we're working with an application of fraction addition. We have a bag of 100 M&Ms, and 30 are brown, 20 yellow, 20 red, 10 green, 10 orange, and 10 blue. We want to know what fraction of the M&Ms are brown or blue. So let's indicate here some of the information that we're given in the problem. First of all, we know that we have 100 M&Ms total, and that 30 of them are brown, and 10 of them are blue. So let's write that information out where we can focus on it. Our goal, stated here, is to determine what fraction of the M&Ms are brown or blue. So let's also write that out where we can focus on it. Because we know the number of M&Ms that are brown and the number that are blue, we can set up a sum of fractions. So there's 30 brown out of 100 plus 10 blue out of 100. If we use our fraction addition rules, we have common denominator. So that means I have 30 plus 10 or 40 out of 100 that are brown or blue. I can reduce this fraction using common factors. 40 is 2 times 20. 100 is 5 times 20. So I can remove the common factor of 20, which gives me 2 fifths. Is 2 fifths a reasonable answer for this problem? I would say yes. and write that the result seems reasonable. It's not negative, it's not larger than one. Uh, we don't have a lot of other information to determine if it's reasonable. We could add up all the other results and see if uh, the remainder plus two-fifths equals one, but I think we're pretty safe to say that two-fifths is, is reasonable as a result. So as a complete sentence then, let's write our result in answering the goal. So two-fifths of the M&Ms are brown or blue.